going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Fantasy Football Clowns Podcast. I'm your host, Meej, and today I'm breaking down the breaking news of the Tyler Lockett injury, and it does appear to be pretty serious. But before we get into that, I'm going to quickly ask you to please press that subscribe button, press that like button so that other people can see this video. It helps out a lot. And uh, let's jump right in. So, Tyler Lockett, having a very quiet day so far. He, he gets the ball, he makes a nice little catch, and then... He goes down with what appears to be a serious-looking knee injury. He got twisted up in the middle of a tackle, and then he immediately grabbed for his knee. Now, I'm not saying ACL injury, but it does appear to look like it. Just from what other injuries I've seen, I could be overreacting to this completely, but it does look pretty bad. Like I always say in these types of videos, we have to wait for more information to come out. But assuming that he does miss some time, I'm just going to go out there and evaluate the fantasy football impact for the Seattle Seahawks offense. So, if not already confirmed, this makes DK Metcalf a clear-cut, high-end, top-five wide receiver one every week because he doesn't have to compete with uh, Tyler Lockett anymore. Uh, It seemed as though they were both... They're both very good receivers, but it seemed as though if one was going off one week, the other wouldn't do so hot. And that is the case from last year, and it seemed to carry over to this year as well. Um, So, obviously, Tyler Lockett being out should be a obvious boost in targets to DK Metcalf and the tight end, who I think would also carry some pretty good value in Gerald Everett. Now, they would obviously try to run the ball more to make up for the absence of a wide receiver, but... Uh, I don't think it would actually increase the workload for Chris Carson or any of the running backs too, too much, just because Lockett, before the injury, only had two targets anyways. So it's kind of a tough situation to deal with, considering Pete Carroll and the offensive coordinator in Seattle are kind of hard to read every week. But overall, I really do hope Tyler Lockett's okay. He has weak winning upside, as he showed you through week one and week two. And I would really love to see him back as soon as possible. Um, But unfortunately, it does look like he went down with a serious knee injury. So we're going to have to see how everything plays out. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'm going to have another video coming up soon about the A.J. Brown injury. So stay tuned for that. Uh, Leave a like on the video like I asked. And uh, please consider subscribing as 80% of the people who watch my videos currently aren't. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.